Hey, in this video editing tutorial I'm going to show you the best export settings for YouTube Shorts in Premiere Pro. To start off, if you go up to File, New Sequence and then select the Settings tab. If you go ahead and change the editing mode to DSLR and then change time base to whatever frame rate you are working with. For myself in the UK, I want to work at 25 frames per second. So I shall change this to 25. After this, change your frame size to 1080 by 1920. And that is going to give you the vertical format that we need for your video to be viewed best on a phone as it is a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. After these settings are complete, you can leave everything else. And then I would recommend that you save this preset if you're going to create a lot of YouTube shorts. This will save you having to manually set up the sequence every time. To do this, if you go down to the bottom and select Save Preset and name this 1080p Vertical Sequence and click OK at the bottom. This will now bring you back to the New Sequence menu where we can expand the custom folder and select the sequence that we have just created. This will now be there every time so that we don't have to create the sequence manually each time. So now, make sure your sequence preset is selected and then press OK. Now you can go ahead and bring your clip into the timeline and edit it. For the first clip that you bring across, a little message might pop up to prompt you to change your sequence settings. Ignore this as it will change it to your clip settings rather than a vertical setting. So click Keep Existing Settings and now your clip should place itself on the timeline. For the sake of this video, I'm going to say we are now ready for exporting our video. To begin the export process, if you go up to the top and click on this export tab. Once this is opened, if you make sure that media file is selected and that the little toggle icon is blue, like seen here. Now if you go over to the actual settings, go over here and change the name of the file to whatever you want to call it. And then for your location, this is where your file will be saved. So select a safe place somewhere on your computer and then select save. If you change the preset to high quality 1080p HD, this will change to custom in a second as we go through more of the settings, but it's a good base to start with. Your format settings should be set to H.264. Once you have selected your format, if you make sure that the video tab is toggled on and blue, like here. Then go to the drop down menu on the video tab so that we can alter some of these settings. For your frame size, we need to swap this to the vertical format in order for it to be viewed as a YouTube short. So click on the drop down menu and click on custom. If we click this little lock icon to unlock the frame size settings and then change the numbers to 1080 by 1920 and then click on this tick box here to confirm the settings we have chosen. For changing the frame rate settings, if you click the box beside it and then alter your frame rate from here if it is different from what your sequence was and then make sure to tick the box once you've changed your frame rate. Field order should be left at progressive and as well as this aspect should be left at custom. To get the best quality out of your video export if you click this more button here select the box that says render at maximum depth and check the box for use maximum render quality. Once this is all complete if we scroll down on this menu to bitrate settings and change bitrate encoding to CBR and change the target bitrate to 45. By increasing the target bitrate, we are increasing the overall export quality of the YouTube short, but as well as this, the file size of your video. So bear in mind if you have a very slow internet connection, as this will take longer to upload to YouTube, but it is worth it for the best quality. Next, you want to make sure that the audio tab is switched on and the toggle is blue. Once this is complete, I would recommend saving the export settings so that you can select it easily rather than having to select all these settings every time you want to export a YouTube short. So if you scroll back up and click on these three little dots and select save preset and then name this to what you want the preset to be called. Now, next time you're wanting to export your YouTube short, if you go to the preset tab and then scroll down to the preset you have just made and it will automatically adjust the settings that we have just created. Finally, click on export at the bottom and that is your best Premiere Pro export settings for YouTube Shorts. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.